899-900. Hello, what are you doing, Candy? Hello. Oh, I'm, I'm just counting the LSD cigarette coupon. See, I'm saving up because I'm going to get a motor car, you see. I've got 900 already. Oh, but you mustn't get a motor car. You've nowhere to keep it. It would cost you 10 bob a week in the garage. Oh, but I couldn't afford 10 bob a week in the garage. Of course you couldn't. Now, you should smoke Kensington cigarettes. They give a motorcycle with air coupons, and you could keep it in your backyard. That's a good idea. Do you know, I never thought about that. But listen, what, what can I do with these 900 LSD coupons? Well, we were boys together, so I'll help you. I've got 520 Kensington coupons, and I'll swap them for your 900 LSD so you can have a motorcycle, see? Well, you're a real pal. Ah, well, well, I'll do that. Thanks very much, Bill. Here you are. Here's yours. Bye-bye, Sandy. Bye-bye. So long, Bill. Well, I'll, I'll have a motorcycle now. Hello, Sandy. Counting your coupons? Uh, yes, Jack. I'm, I'm, I'm saving up, you see. I want a motorcycle, you see. And I've got 520 Kensington coupons. Oh, coupons. don't do that. No? Look at the price of petrol. You can't afford it. You should smoke purple kitten cigarettes and get a bicycle. There's no expense. Now, that, a bicycle? Yes, I'd like a bicycle, but what about my Kensington coupon? I'll help you. I'll swap my 305 purple kittens for your 520 Kensington. Uh, ah, well, all right. Well, I'll do it, Jack. All right. Well, it is yours. And here's your purple kittens. So long, Sandy. So long, well, now for a bicycle. Purple kittens, eh? What are you saving for, Sandy? Well, I'm, I'm trying to get a bicycle, you see, Charlie. I've got 305 already. You don't want a bicycle, old man. No? You'll always be having punctures. Oh, ah. You should get hard luck coupons. They give you a pair of roller skates. No trouble with them. That's a good well, like a pair of roller skates. But, you see, I've got, I've got these purple kittens. What can I do with them? Well, now, look here. I'll swap my 17 hard luck coupons for your purple kittens. Well, you are a pal. All right, I'll do it. Here you are, Charlie. Thanks, Andy. Head off. So long. Well, I'm going to have a ride anyway. If it's only on a pair of roller skates. Who's this going to have some roller skates, Andy? I am, Tom. I've got 17 hard luck cigarette coupons. Nonsense. You'll have to get about 2,000 of them. It'll take you months and months and months. Ah, but you see, I, I wanted a ride now, you see, Tom. Oh, I see. Well, listen. We've always been enemies, but I'll help you. I'll swap this free ticket for a ride on the roundabout down at the fair for your 17 hard luck coupons, does that? Well, that's fair enough. And then I can have a ride now. All right, I'll do it. That's right. Here you are, Sandy. Here's your ticket. Hey, Bye -bye. Uh, there, there's the coupons. So long. Well, I'm going to have a ride after all. Hello, Sandy. Where are you going? I'm just I'm just going down to the fairground. See, I've, I've got a ticket for a free ride, you see, on the roundabouts. You won't get one. I won't get one? Why not? Because the fair went away yesterday. Well, damn the cigarette coupons. I'll smoke a pipe. I nearly gave up smoking cigarettes a month ago. I've got to smoke as hard and fags are bad for me, you know. But when they started coupons and gave any balloting, I didn't give it up. I said, ah, death, where is thy sting? I'd only got one shirt to wear. That's not an idle boast. And it had shrunk in washing in the place you need it most. So I saved up all my coupons and I sent off for a shirt. I sent off for a shirt and they sent one, it's a cert. The material was lovely and the pattern looked a treat. But it must have been a Manx one because it wasn't quite complete. It's true it had a dicky, but it had no dicky seat. So I had to keep on smoking till I got one. So I saved up all my coupons and I sent off for a seat. I sent off for a seat, but they thought I said a sweet. They sent a suite of furniture next day, a lovely load. I told the man I've got no house. He said, well, I'll be blowed. If you haven't got a house, I'll have to dump it in the road. And you'll have to keep on smoking till you've got one. So I saved up all my coupons and I sent off for a house. I sent up for the house, and when I got the house, I sorted out the furniture, and then I got so scared. They'd been and sent a great big double bed that should be shared, and I found I'd need a wife to keep the other side well aired. So I had to keep on smoking till I got one. So I saved up all my coupons, and I sent up for a wife. I sent up for a wife, and they sent a charming wife. Helped me lay the garden out, and one day in the ground, 
I saw her planting bulrushes. I asked her why, she frowned, and said, because I wanted to find what Pharaoh's daughter found. So I had to keep on smoking till I got one. So I saved up all my coupons, and I sent off for a boy. I sent off for a boy, and he came and brought me joy. But he also brought two girls as well. I sent for Dr. Tess. I said the wife and kids are doing well, but I'm much worse. He said, you've smoked yourself to death, now all you want's a hearse. So I had to keep on smoking till I got one. So I saved up all my coupons, and I sent up for a hearse. I sent up for a hearse, but instead they sent a nurse. I fell in love with nurse and said, I'm going to live a bit. She told me I'd no sex appeal. I nearly had a fit. And she said that she could never love a man who'd got no hit. So I'm going to keep on smoking till I've got...